shopping at Aldi. We got a ton of stuff this time. I will flip the camera around, show you everything that we got. Keeping in mind that I bulk buy from Azure Standard for most of our like shelf stable stuff and then the bulk of our beak meat comes from Butcher Box. So this is kind of like our um, rest of the groceries for the week and anything else we fun, fun that we find. All right, so I may have to jump back and forth. I'm just going down my receipt but we will just jump right in so first thing on my receipt is these smokehouse pizzas topped with barbecue sauce uncured canadian bacon italian sausage uncured bacon red onions and mozzarella cheese and we did get two of those just because if we're eating that as a meal we will need two of them so those pizzas were 4.99 a piece and we got two we grabbed this key lime pie. This is $5.99, so it's in the freezer section, but you just thaw it in your refrigerator and serve that way. I love key lime pie, so I'm very, very excited about this. The next thing on the receipt is this pack of Yo Crunch yogurt. My son asked for that. Um, there is eight cups of each, I believe, in that, and that was um, $7.12. Then over here we got oh, the vanilla ice cream is upside down, but we got the premium vanilla ice cream and that was $5.99. And then I believe this one here is the cookies and cream, uh, $2.75 for that one. I do like this vanilla one because the ingredients are pretty simple, but my son really wanted the cookies and cream. So we went ahead and grabbed that. Then I grabbed three of these frozen cheesecake things for my husband and I for desserts, just various times. We've got a cheesecake strawberry swirl, a New York style, and then a turtle. And so, oops, there are two slices in each container, so we can share one of those for dessert um, whenever we feel like it. And those were $1.99 a piece. And then we got these calzones. We got four of them for lunch today. And so as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to get them in the oven. We got the, a Philly cheesesteak for my husband, a buffalo chicken for my son. And then my daughter and I got the four cheese ones. And the calzones are $2.39 a piece. And then we got these crispy circles. They're like a tater tot. And those were $2.79. And then my son was asking for some pepper jack cheese for sandwiches this week. So that was $1.65. I will show you the buns he got to have for sandwiches. And we have lunch meat from Sam's Club. And then next I'm going to take you over here. And we have the caramel macchiato. This is my favorite coffee drink to have on hand. So when I can get it, I do grab it. And let's see, that is $6.24. Then I got a thing of their mild salsa. We really like the salsa. It's very good. It's in the refrigerator section. So I got one of those. I believe they're on sale this week. It's $2.49. Then we got two more of these. If your Aldi has these, these are so, so good. Um, this one is good until July, and it's the beginning of May right now. So we have two more. We do have, I think, two in our fridge right now, but we really like it, and we're going through it pretty quickly. $3.79. Then we got a thing of the whole milk, and this was $3.79. I prefer the Kelowna's, but again, that's at Whole Foods, and I don't know when we're going to get there, so... I just went ahead and grabbed that, and then I got a thing of chocolate milk. If you watch my videos, you know I get this every single week for my son, um, and that's $1.66. My son is on the spectrum, so he's very particular about the things that he'll eat. <laughs> so we just get what we can. And then um, the next thing is, and I'm not even going to try to say it, but this Mexican cheese. Uh, it's like the Mexican Parmesan cheese, basically. And... I have seen this in recipes, and I wasn't sure if Aldi even carried it, 
but they do. So I went ahead and grabbed that and that cheese was $4.89. I will probably freeze it just because I don't think it's something we're going to go through very quickly. So just to keep it from molding. Then next up is this artisan lettuce. I've never had this one before. It's like four little heads of lettuce. And so I thought we would give that a try. It looked pretty delicious. And that was $3.19. Then the raspberries were on sale for $1.99 a piece. We did lose half of this package um, out of the back of the car. And so, and a package of strawberries, which is a super big bummer. But um, so $1.99, and I did go ahead and pick up three of them because that's a pretty good deal for raspberries. And typically, when we're eating the raspberries, we go through a container each time. Then my daughter wanted to try this street corn dip. It's dip with fire roasted corn, cilantro, red chili spices, and mayonnaise, sour cream with Monterey Jack, and then that other kind of cheese that I don't know how to say, and then I can't remember how you say that one either, but anyways, she wanted to give that a try, so we did go ahead and pick that up, and that dip was $3.39, and then the kids wanted some uh, pickle spears, and we've been getting the refrigerator ones like this at Aldi, and they're really pretty good, so we went ahead and grabbed um, the spears because they wanted those and the spears were $4.19 the strawberries were $1.89 so we did originally get two of them so that will be included in my total but only one made it into the house then I grabbed the guacamole singles I buy this pretty much every time we go we go through them fairly quickly it's so nice because it's pre-made guacamole the ingredients are simple sitting in the fridge ready to go you can also freeze them if you're not going to go through it fast enough but we typically do not have that issue $3.89 for that one and then my daughter really likes the pineapple mango probiotic drink so she actually got three of them and then my son got one to try I'm not convinced he's going to like it but we're going to let him try it and those were $1.99 a piece and then we're going to go down here and my husband and each kid got one of these teriyaki ramen takeout things for $2.49. It's not something we would get typically too often, but on the nights that I work or um, for a lunch or something like that, um, we went ahead and got that. So that's something that they can go ahead and have, again, for a lunch or dinner when I'm not here. Then my husband has been wanting to try the extra toasted um, Cheez-Its, but we just went ahead and grabbed the Aldi brand, and those are $3.69, and then I love their chocolate bars, and they're so delicious, so I grabbed myself two. I got the crunchy caramel sea salt and the honey salted almonds. They are both super delicious. I actually got this one on mistake one time because I thought it was this one because they look very similar, um, and I just thought orange, so I got one of each of those this time and the chocolate bars are $2.49 a piece then we're going to go down here to the pinto beans and the pinto beans were on sale for 99 cents I think they're normally a dollar something and so I just got three cans just to kind of restock we still have pinto beans from Azure but for 99 cents I thought I would just restock those while they were on sale then back here, the apple pie that you saw, my son really wanted that. That was 85 cents, so I did let him get that. Usually, I only get that when he's shopping with us, um, but he asked for it. So, And then my husband loves these pretzel rods, so we went ahead and grabbed those, $5.49. That's a really good deal. Um, they're a lot more at Fresh Time, which is where I used to get them. Next up is Prime. They had the strawberry banana flavor, so my kids wanted to try that, so they each got one. That was $1.88. My daughter really enjoys these freeze-dried, dark chocolate-covered strawberries, so we got one last time we were at Aldi, so we went ahead and grabbed another one of those, and those were $3.49. And then my son, we homeschool, but my son gets IEP services two days a week, and he has to pack a lunch, and he brings one of these bags of cookies with him pretty much every single time he basically packs the same lunch two days a week every single the same thing um, those were $3.39 and then I got these I thought they're super good we got them last time almond flour strawberry shortcake cookies these are super super delicious um, so I grabbed another one of those and those were $2.99 they also have a s'mores flavor then we restocked these cookies 
the peanut butter ones are 209 and um, the caramel ones were let's see 229 so 229 for these and then the peanut ones are 209 and these are just basically like Girl Scout cookie dupes and so we just restocked those my son's PCA really likes these so I try to keep them on hand for when he is here then I got these. They had them last week, I think, in the ad. They still had some of them, so I went ahead and grabbed two more pa or two packages. I haven't tried them yet. It's the coconut scrubber sponges. So four sponges total. And the sponges were $2.49 a pack. Then we're gonna go back down here to some more produce. And we've got the Cara Cara oranges. A three pound bag. We are just about out is $4.49. I love Cara Cara oranges, they're so good. And then I grabbed another thing of limes. These were on sale for $1.99 this week. So I picked that up. We'll use them in our like Mexican or Tex-Mex nights. And then after that, I got two pineapples. You can see one from last week still sitting back there ripening. And then I got two more. Uh, they were $1.79. So that's a good price for pineapple. We got some bananas. The organic bananas are $0.72 cents a pound. So that was $1.56 for the bananas. Then we are going to go back down here, and there is a hat, a floppy sun hat that I got for myself, and that was $6.99. Then we got two things of mini donuts. Each kid got to pick out what they wanted. We got the chocolate one and the powdered sugar one. Honestly, I'm not that impressed by all these powdered sugar donuts or chocolate donuts, but uh, the kids wanted them, so we went ahead and got those. And the donuts were three fifteen. Then these queso chips were getting eaten on the car ride home, and we did get them last time as well, two forty nine. My kids really like those. Then behind it is a bag of the wavy potato chips that we're using in that pickle dip, and the wavy potato chips are a dollar eighty nine. I grabbed these pita chips. I've not tried theirs before, but I thought that I would just give them a try for two seventy nine. I get this sourdough loaf pretty much every single time that we shop, and it's um, $3.49, and it's just great to have on hand for um, eggs and toast or a side for dinner, whatever you want to use it for. It's super good. And then these brioche sesame buns, this is what my son wanted for his lunches this week for his um, lunch meat sandwiches. These are $3.99. And then my husband likes to make breakfast sandwiches in the morning. So English muffins, and they're $1.45. Then we've got honey wheat bread. This is just for plain old sandwiches, $1.75. And then the very last thing is just a thing of the eggs. I really like the pasture-raised ones, but ours, our Aldi hasn't had pasture-raised pasture eggs in a very, very long time. These are $3.39. So that is everything that I got. Our total was $215.10 for everything that we got at Aldi, which we did a good restock on our fruit um, produce stuff and a lot of good things. So now I have to put it all away and get making lunch. I will see you on the next one.